Now, this uh, present question is asking us to identify the type of uh, cartilage and what they are mentioning is three types, which is uh, fibrohyaline, elastic cartilage. Along with that, they have given articular cartilage. Articular cartilage actually most of the time will be hyaline variety, though sometimes it could be also fibrocartilage variety. So, as we see, this is a collection of chondrocytes with some fibers evident and these are characteristically looking like uh, elastic fibers. So it is elastic cartilage. You can also see the perichondrium here, outer fibrous and inner cellular layer. Now before we comment more upon this uh, elastic cartilage, let us look at the three types, how to identify them from each other. So it will be three types, hyaline, elastic or fibrocartilage. And uh, these two cartilages will have some common features. The hyaline and the elastic, both of them will have type 2 collagen fibers and they will have uh, perichondrium. Whereas uh, if you are looking at the fibrocartilage, it does not have perichondrium and uh, it is having type 1 collagen predominantly. So fibrocartilage is considered as atypical cartilage as it has no perichondrium and it has type 1 collagen. You can also notice that all the three are showing chondrocytes. Now these chondrocytes, they are scattered in some fibers and uh, looking at those pattern of fibers, you can decide that which kind of uh, cartilage is that. If you find bunches of chondrocytes, as you see here, then it goes more in favor of hyaline cartilage. But if you find row of uh, chondrocytes, then it goes more in favor of the fibrocartilage. Whereas uh, in elastic cartilage, there is no typical pattern, though it might appear same as the hyaline cartilage, means bunches could be there. So again, here you have bunches of chondrocytes and you can separate it from fibrocartilage, atypical cartilage having rows of chondrocytes, alternating with the, the bands of uh, type 1 collagen fibers. It is called fibrocartilage because it has more of fibers and less of uh, chondrocytes. As you mentioned, more of fibers and less of chondrocytes and chondrocytes also running in rows alternating with the bands of uh, type 1 collagen fibers here, which you can show now. And uh, when it comes to these two, they can be confused with each other. But one thing is clear, in elastic cartilage, you will see not only type 2 collagen fibers, but also elastic fibers. And uh, these elastic fibers can be identified by the fact that they are short length, straight, not wavy, single running and branching fibers. Now, when you say elastic fibers are having these features, you are comparing it with what? With the, the collagen fibers. So, elastic fibers are short length, collagen fibers are long length fibers. Here, elastic fibers are straight, they are wavy bundle of fibers. Here, they are single, they are bundle of fibers. And here, the branching of elastic fibers is seen, no branching is seen in collagen fibers. Then why are you not showing collagen fibers here? Because it is uh, not visible. In hyaline cartilage, identification point is, despite the fact that it has type 2 collagen, it is not visible. It is called hyalos, glass-like, because the refractive index of the collagen fiber is same as the matrix. The collagen fibers are not visible. It is an optical illusion. Anyhow, our question was on elastic fibers, so let us focus more upon elastic fibers then. You will notice that uh, external ear pinna will have elastic cartilage, and uh, as we said, along with type 2 collagen, there will be some elastic fibers. And these elastic fibers are identified by the fact that they are short, straight, single, and uh, branching fibers as compared with the, the collagen fibers. So let us go back to our question again. As you can find, it is asking us to identify the type of cartilage and you can see the perichondrium here. The perichondrium has two layers, outer fibrous and inner cellular, and it will be absent in the fibrocartilage. So this cannot be fibrocartilage. This cannot even be hyaline cartilage. Why it cannot be hyaline cartilage? Because it is uh, hyalose. It has no visible fibers there. So that means it is uh, elastic cartilage. Yes, the answer is uh, elastic cartilage. It is having some elastic fibers which are uh, short single straight branching fibers among the chondrocytes which may be found in bunches but not in the rows. And why not uh, articular cartilage? Because articular cartilage is mostly hyaline cartilage and sometimes it can be fibrocartilage and none of that is uh, here. So we'll keep our answer as choice number C only. 